It's Beer Fun Friday. Hi guys and girls. It's Chris here from Fishing Pro Brewery. No longer in South Yorkshire. Go eat more quietly. Um, yeah. I'm going to do another beer review. Hey, beer reviews coming out of my ears. Well, yeah, okay, fair enough. And again, we've got an offering from Thornbridge. Thornbridge Colorado Red English Hopped Ale at 5.9%. 500 ml bottle. The labels are always attractive from Thornbridge. Um, I'll just read you the bump on the back. I'll skip the bit that's ubiquitous and that comes as part of Thornbridge's anyway. Uh, this beer was first brewed in collaboration with our friends from Odell Brewing Company, Colorado. Colorado Red pours a deep red with pungent aromas of only the best English hops. Flavours are of rich dried fruits, candied peel and fragrant fresh hops. The dog's whining to go out. I'm going to ignore him. I want to get on with this. Uh, it's been in the fridge um, for about what an hour, an hour and a bit. So it's cooled, <clears throat> but not chilled. Chilled, chilled. So let's get it open without further ado. Little hiss, a little bit of smoke. Hmm. American hop. It's not. But what English hop it is, I do not know. And the hop aroma out of the bottle has all but dissipated. So let's give it a pour. End in a Thornbridge glass. Innovation, passion knowledge. Thornbridge have this in spades. So it's pouring a an amber, dark amber maybe, nice head forming, cream, very light tan coloured head and of course it's a 500ml bottle so tight as a duck's ass. We are not in pint territory here, sub pint territory. But that, if you can see, excellent carbonation. A commercial beer. I'm not going to say the rest of it, but hey, you know what I normally say. It almost smells like Cascade. I think it's there's a hint of Fuggles in there. I'm not sure what other hops they've used, but good colour. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Cheers. Sweetness coming from the malt straight away. Oh, excuse me, good carbonation there. Um, a touch of um, citrus hoppage, um, so grapefruit type hoppage, that tart hop. But definitely that malt sweetness initially. And then it just seems to round itself out and then it comes back, the bitterness comes straight back at you, the back end and flows forward almost from the back of your mouth through to the, excuse me through sorry ah, through to the front of your mouth again to the tip of your tongue would I buy it again yes for sure would I be able to drink many more than three or four probably not because this is in Jaipur country with the ABV it's 5.9%, same as Jack Paul. We've got higher grav beers tonight. Um, we've got a selection. Just bear with me a second while I... It's a little bit bright. The fridge door's open. 
not only have I got that, I'm not doing a review on these others, I'm just trying them out. Wall Top Scarborough Fair IPA, rocking it at 6%. So, the ABVs are up. We've got a Marston's Strong Pale Ale. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sorry. At 6.2%. Look at the colour on that, that's beautiful. And this is bottle condition. There is sedimente in the bottom of this bottle. <clears throat> I'm actually quite looking forward to that. Not the sediment, but drinking that. What I tend to do of an evening when I have a selection of beers to try is work my way up. And this is the Tour de Force. Sorry, the fridge door's been open too long. It's telling me to shut the fuck up. Um, this is the Tour de Force. A premium bottle conditioned beer from the Durham Brewery. Bombay 106, original India Pale, at 7%. Now this, this live, live, ye blah, live yeast sediment in this, this bottle conditioned again. This is what I am really, really looking forward to. And what I tend to do is I take them out of the fridge and leave them for an hour or so, if I can be bothered. But I think to round off the night tonight, <clears throat> We're going to drop the ABV almost a pint. And anybody that's seen this bottle before may have an inkling of what is actually in it. Sam Smith's Old Brewery, Tadcaster, Taddy Porter. I'm going to try and crack at this, making it, because I have a recipe somewhere for this. I know I have. I do like my porters. Whether it will last until um, the colder weather comes back, which will probably be the rest of this weekend. Apparently we're going to be having snow at certain, in certain parts of our area. The weather's gone to shit again. Okay, but anyway, there. The White Rose of Yorkshire in Nottinghamshire. But where I am, there's always a little bit of Yorkshire. So that I'm looking forward to. I've got a couple of ciders in the fridge that I'm going to do uh, reviews on. Um, Lakey Blow, Roy. Cheers, Roy, you put me onto this. Thatcher's 2012 Vintage Oak Aged Somerset Cider, 7.4%. That's going to kick some ass. But also in honour of um, Dave the Welsh brewer. Black Dragon. Welsh cider. Gwinti Drag. Sorry about the pronunciation. It's all vowels. There's hardly any... Con uh, sorry, it's all consonants. There's hardly any vowels in, in Welsh. In Cum Cumru. Cumri. 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 So... And that's at 6.5%. So this weekend is out of, uh, it's going to be high grav alcohol. So, I've taken up far too much of your time. Fridge is telling me to shut the fuck up again. Close the door. Right. Let's get back to this. This Colorado Red. Sorry. Very nice beer. Look out for it in your local beer shops. Specialist type beer shops. Um, some of the supermarkets do a few Thornbridge, but not very many. Some Thornbridge pubs will have a core on tap, but some of these are seasonal and some of them only come in bottles. But it's a fine beer. It would be a shame for you not to try it. So, my recommendation for the weekend, guys, on this 21st of March. 2014 beer fun Friday is Thornbridge Colorado Red English Hot Ale at 5.9% try it you never know you may like it and for all you lager boys out there what's the matter you find you might taste something I'll catch you on the flip side bye for now <laughs>